In this lesson, we'll begin learning how certain colors harmonize together and how we can use this to our advantage as an artist. Okay, so now that we're familiar with some techniques for sort of extending the use of these uh, colors on our simple color wheel here, we can actually start talking about what are some methods that we can choose as an artist uh, to help us pick colors that look good together. That's what a color harmony is, and there's a ton of simple harmonies uh, that use these colors on the color wheel that we can begin to use in choosing colors for our projects. So um, let's go ahead and dive right in and talk about these. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide my simple subtractive color wheel here and let's just talk about the first color scheme and really I hesitate to call this a color scheme because really there's no color here at all I just really wanted you to be familiar with this term it's called achromatic and uh, this term is actually just simply means grayscale it's a color scheme that uses no color at all so um, we'll go ahead and quickly move past that one uh, now we spoke briefly in a previous lesson about complementary color schemes. Uh, we know that they exist in colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. And you can see here all of these different possibilities here with my simple color wheel. Now, what's the pitfall to these complementary color schemes? Because uh, it can't be just that simple in, in using one of these color schemes. Well, what you should know about complementary color schemes is that in, in their purest form, these colors are very, very vibrant. Uh, these colors are at their purest right now. And uh, basically, these are going to be very, very abrupt color combinations. So one might choose to be very careful using these. So you probably don't want to use these in large amounts next to each other because of the uh, possibility that uh, it's just going to create a lot of tension and stress uh, on the eye. So what are some ways, again, that we can sort of manage these complementary color harmonies? We can use a tint of one of these colors, we can use a shade, or we could even use a tone of one of these colors. So uh, consider maybe um, experimenting with some combinations for your complementary color harmonies uh, by mixing in some gray for a tone, or even some black or white for uh, shades or tints. Now, this is a color a complementary harmony here, so um, let's go ahead and move on. Now, the next one I want to speak briefly to you about is a triadic color harmony. Now, this just simply means that we're going to use three colors on our color wheel that are spaced equally apart. Now, here's a couple examples for you. We have a primary triad color harmony, and we have a secondary triad color harmony. So, essentially what we're doing here is we're using our primary colors in this harmony, and we're using our secondary colors in this harmony. But these are not the only two combinations that we could use. We could use any three hues on our color wheel as long as they're spaced equally apart on that wheel. So um, what are some things to be on the lookout for with a triad color harmony? Well, again, kind of like the complementary color harmony, these tend to be fairly vibrant when they're not desaturated at all or in, when they're in their purest form. So um, you might choose to do something like this right here. Maybe you choose one of the three colors as sort of your workhorse. It's your primary color, uh, with that lack of a better term. Uh, now, the other two colors could be accent colors for that. And when I say that, maybe you use one at full saturation, one at its most vibrant form, and then for the other two, like this uh, kind of this pink right here and this yellow, you come in and use a tint or a combination of a tint and a shade, or even a tone for these other colors, just to sort of rein back the level of vibrancy those colors have. So um, that's one way you can be successful in using a triad color harmony. Okay, so um, now the last color harmony that I want to talk about in this lesson is called an analogous color harmony. So uh, let me go ahead and pull that up here. Now, I don't have the full color wheel visible on this particular layer, but if we were to hide this and come back over here, an analogous color harmony is going to use three hues that are right next to each other on our color wheel. So it could be these three like I have down here, or it could be these three. It could be any combination of three as long as they're right next to each other on our color wheel. Now, 
if we come down here and take a look at the analogous color harmony that I have set up here, uh, right here, you can see that I've chosen sort of these greenish hues down at the bottom of my wheel. Now, one thing that is uh, can be observed about an analogous color harmony is that these are very, very common in nature. So uh, you may think, well, green, yeah, grass, trees, things of that nature. But uh, even if we look at these other color harmonies, things over here, think about fall colors. Um, and you have to think past these purest forms of these colors into their tints and shades. So these colors exist in nature. Look for them next time you're outside. So when you're looking at using an analogous harmony, some things that you should be aware of uh, as far as uh, pitfalls with this is analogous harmonies tend to have very similar values. And what I mean by that is that uh, comparing one of these colors to the other two, there's not a lot of difference in contrast. So that's one thing you should be aware of when you're using an analogous color harmony is uh, that there's not a lot of contrast in these colors. So uh, again, you'll have to work by, again, extending these colors using tints, shades, and uh, tones to overcome that if you're seeking to create more contrast between the colors in this harmony. So, uh, but that's uh, some ways that you could be successful. Up here I've got sort of an example of an analogous color harmony. And you can see here I've come in and created a shade of this color right here. This is kind of my primary color, so I'm using that one straight, uh, just simply sampled it. And then the, for this color right here, I'm using a tint. I've added some white into that color. So uh, again, think about being successful with these color harmonies and some of the tips that I've given you in this lesson. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next lesson and we'll pick up where we're leaving off here and we'll talk about another handful of different color harmonies.